The hyoid bone found in Neanderthal remains is anatomically similar to that of modern humans, suggesting they had a voice box capable of producing a wide range of sounds conducive to spoken language. Genetic studies have identified the presence of the FOXP2 gene in Neanderthals, a gene associated with speech and language, indicating they may have had the capacity for complex vocal communication. Their skulls reveal a brain structure that includes a developed Broca's area, which in modern humans is involved in speech production, hinting at their potential for language. Evidence of complex hunting strategies used by Neanderthals, which would require coordination and communication, suggests they had a form of language to share and pass on such intricate knowledge. The discovery of potential symbolic artifacts with Neanderthals, like jewelry made from shells and feathers, points to the capability for abstract thought, possibly communicated through some form of language. They manufactured sophisticated tools such as Levallois flakes and Mysterian points, which may have necessitated and resulted from the use of complex language to convey manufacturing techniques. The use of pigments like ochre by them for body decoration or artwork may represent symbolic thought and a non-verbal form of communication that could be complemented by verbal language. Their burial sites, which often contain grave goods, suggest a belief system that could have been communicated and shared within their communities, potentially through language. The spatial organization of their living spaces, with separate areas for activities like tool making and butchery, implies a level of planning and communication about communal living practices. The resemblance of Neanderthal ear bones to those of modern humans implies they could hear sounds in the frequency range of human speech, supporting the possibility of spoken language. Comparative analysis with modern humans shows that their brain hemispheres were asymmetrical, a feature often correlated with the language capacity of modern humans. Neanderthal sites sometimes exhibit evidence of fire use, which would have likely required communication for the sharing of knowledge on fire management and safety. Cut marks on their bones indicate a form of health care and empathy that might have been communicated through language to aid in the healing process. Isotope analysis of Neanderthal teeth reveals a varied diet that would have required knowledge of diverse food sources, possibly necessitating communication for gathering and hunting. The existence of long-distance trade networks for materials like flint among them suggests some form of communication was used for these complex social interactions. Neanderthals lived in diverse and challenging environments, from Mediterranean forests to harsh steppes, which likely required the development of communication methods to share survival strategies. The presence of musical instruments, such as a bone flute in their context, may indicate the use of music and rhythm as a form of cultural and possibly linguistic expression. Reconstructions of the, their vocal tract suggest they could produce a range of distinct sounds, though perhaps not as nuanced as those of modern human speech. Cognitive models suggest that their language, if it existed, would have likely been holistic, with whole phrases expressing complex ideas unlike the analytical structure of modern languages. Some researchers argue that Neanderthal language would have been heavily gestural, supplementing vocal sounds with meaningful body movements to convey messages. The social complexity observed in their groups, such as division of labor and group hunting, implies a level of communicative sophistication that may have included elements of language. Neanderthal children's teeth show growth patterns similar to modern humans, indicating a prolonged childhood that could provide a time for language learning and socialization. The coexistence of Neanderthals and modern humans in certain regions for thousands of years may have led to the exchange of communicative practices and possibly language elements. The cognitive demands of navigating and adapting to Ice Age Europe's changing landscapes would have necessitated some form of advanced communication among Neanderthals. The presence of large social groups among them, as inferred from archaeological sites, would have benefited from the use of language to maintain social cohesion and share information. They created complex adhesive compounds from birch bark, a process that likely involved multi-step instructions which may have been facilitated by a form of language. Injuries found on their remains that healed suggest a social support system that could have included the communication of care and shared medical knowledge. Neanderthal artifacts show signs of wear and repair indicating an understanding of material properties 
and the potential for communicated knowledge regarding maintenance and longevity of tools. The deliberate engravings found on some, their artifacts, could represent a form of symbolic communication or a precursor to written language. Linguists proposed that if they had language, it would not have been identical to ours, but it would have fulfilled similar communicative needs in their society. They might have communicated information about their landscapes, such as water sources and shelter, which would have been essential for survival and require complex language. Some hypothesize that Neanderthal communication would have been more context-dependent, relying on shared experiences and immediate environments to convey meaning. They shared many cognitive abilities with modern humans, such as planning and tool use, which are often facilitated by language, suggesting they could have developed a form of speech. Archaeological evidence of collaboration in Neanderthal groups, such as collective hunting, points to the necessity of communicative strategies, potentially involving language. The complex social behaviors exhibited by them, such as caregiving and potentially mourning rituals, suggest a level of emotional expression that might have been conveyed through language. Their ability to survive in cold climates for hundreds of thousands of years would have necessitated the communication of techniques for creating clothing and shelters. The controlled use of fire by Neanderthals, evidenced by hearths, indicates knowledge of fire-making techniques that were likely passed on through some form of language. The diversity of Neanderthal toolkits across different regions implies localized cultural variations that might have been communicated through language. Neanderthal remains in certain locations have shown evidence of healed traumatic injuries, suggesting they cared for the injured, which would involve communicative interaction. The presence of diverse faunal remains at Neanderthal sites indicates shared hunting knowledge that might have been communicated through complex language. The linguistic capacity of Neanderthals is often inferred from their complex cultural behaviors, which likely required some form of communication to be taught and learned. Some researchers have suggested that they could have used a proto-language, simpler than modern languages, but still capable of conveying complex ideas and emotions. The survival of Neanderthals through drastic climatic changes implies an ability to communicate and strategize collectively adapting their behaviors and technologies. Their cranial capacity is within the range of modern humans, indicating brain power that could support the cognitive requirements of language. Observations of tool use among primates can provide analogies for how Neanderthals might have communicated the learning and transmission of tool-making skills. The potential for language among Neanderthals opens up broader questions about the origins and uniqueness of human language and cognition. The study of their language and communication remains speculative, but continued research and technological advances may one day provide clearer insights into how they interacted with their world and each other. We will keep you updated with any further developments in this regard. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.